Hi, my name is Jade Hunt. I'm a personal trainer here at Surge Health and Fitness. Today I'm going to be discussing the seated row exercise with you. I'll go through the very techniques you can do, also the different grips that can be used and possible injuries that can occur when doing a seated row. The main muscle groups that are used when doing a seated row are the muscles of the upper back, the latissimus dorsi and the trapezius. Also the bicep and the forearm muscles do come into play a little bit as well. Okay, so first of all I'll show you the beginner's version of the seated row using a close grip and obviously using a weight that is appropriate to your level. Okay, so both feet up, keeping the knees slightly bent, leaning forward, grabbing hold of the handle with both hands, sitting upright, you're going to bring the handle towards your waist, keeping your elbows close to your body and then squeezing the shoulder blades backwards, coming forward until the elbow is just still slightly bent and then repeat the process. So squeeze the shoulder blades and then coming forward. Okay, that's your first version of the seated row, beginner's version. Uh, there is a more advanced technique you can use for bodybuilding purposes. This is just slightly different. Knees still bent, leaning forward, grabbing hold of the handle. You're now just going to bring it back, squeeze the shoulder blades and lean slightly backwards. Coming forward, stretching out those lats, bringing it back and squeeze and repeat. This just gives you a bit more range of motion and performing the more advanced technique. Okay, so there are your two versions of the seated row. There are also different grips that you can use. So you've got this grip here, which just gives you a bit more range of motion when bringing it back because it wraps around the waist, letting you squeeze it further back. Okay. And then you also have the wider grip version. This is for more purposes of wanting to grow width in the back. So obviously you're holding it at a wider distance. Therefore, you will need to lower the weight because it will be harder. All right, so they're the three different grips that you can use. Injuries that can occur, the main one would be when doing the seated row, if you're swinging too much and not actually doing it in a controlled motion, you can injure the lower back. And also if you're not incorporating the, incorporating the right muscles when squeezing it back, if you're just letting it stretch out too much, you can injure the ligaments in the shoulder. You can also injure the muscle here, okay? If you'd like to know how to incorporate it into your program, the seated row, just come and speak to myself or any of the personal trainers here and we will help you incorporate that into your program. I hope you've enjoyed today's tip. Tune in next week. Have a good day.